Hello, I welcome you to my talk, Multiplicating Knowledge on the Use of Free Open Source Spatial Analysis Tools. And I'm going to explain you about our experience with the GeoSat 2011 Summer School when we broadcasted it. So briefly, on my person, I'm Ralph Schäfer. I'm leading as a junior professor the working group quantitative landscape ecology at the University Koblenz Landau and to give you a brief brief visual impression of myself I have posted I have put a small picture here as I will not be on stage so my talk outline is we have first I will discuss a bit free open source tools that are available available for spatial analysis and introduce you to the concept behind the Geostat summer course and then explain and, and describe the technical setup that we had for broadcasting the, Ge the Geostat and finally evaluate and give a small outlook. So free open source tools for spatial analysis are widely available for all types of spatial analysis or GIS analysis that needs to be done. There are more than 350 projects recorded on the freegis.org website and for, for most tasks and operating systems you would find uh, free open source software alternative to commercial softwares. So an overview on important projects for spatial analysis can also be found here. There is uh, uh, on, on the website of the Open Source Geospatial Foundation, that is a foundation that supports the development of open source software and related to the statistical programming language R. You have the grant task view for spatial analysis that shows all the different R packages and developments with regard to spatial analysis. So for these free open source tools, software tools for special analysis, I would expect a continuous growth in the use of these tools, first of all, because they allow for a producibility and transparency in science, since you could look in the source code and see and, and in the algorithms that are used to, for example, make geo geostatistical interpolations and so on um, and this has been probably discussed in detail in the previous talk by Marcus Nettler on open science. Then there is an increasing demand generally for spatial analysis as more data becomes available, large-scale data and this means that generally spatial analysis tools will grow and therefore probably as well open source tools will benefit from this. Finally, I expect a decreasing funding that will affect commercial software licensing in research because there are alternatives available. Several universities all already in Germany for example have shifted to teaching free GIS tools compared to commercial GIS software. For example, in our university we only teach, uh, we, we teach now quantum GIS and grass GIS rather than ArcGIS. However, the educational coverage could be improved. If you look at GIS textbooks you have for quantum, GIS, quantum GIS, one textbook that is related to this software, for, for this free software, you have for the open source software CrossGIS one textbook, but for Zaga GIS another GIS system for free open source software, there's any there's any textbook available. And if you compare this to ArcGIS, where you have more than 100 textbooks, this is for um, an Amazon search that I did. There's a there's a huge difference between them, and that means that um, for newbies to these softwares it will be relatively difficult to learn 
However, there are many online so so resources to learn learn these softwares. For example, you have webcasts and screencasts, but they are not on one central website. There's many for the for the projects that are supported by the Open Geospatial Foundation, the OSGEO website. You will find educational content for the projects that are <coughs> primarily supported but generally it's it's scattered and not easy to find that is the situation for regarding educational content for free open source software in the background and now I'm going to explain briefly what is Geostat so Geostat is a non-profit blog course run by free open source software enthusiasts and the developers and this aims at teaching these tools so to spread the use of these free open source software tools such as R, CrossGIS, Zaga GIS, GDAL OGR and PostGIS and also Google Earth is used in this course although that's not free open source it's free but not open source so the whole course was initiated by Tomislav Hengel from the from the International Soil Research Center in Wageningen in the Netherlands. So since 2007 the Geostat is running in changing international locations. It was in Amsterdam and Naples, in Split and so on. And in 2011 it took place at the University Koblenz Landau at the Campus Landau. For more information on Geostat, please visit the website. You find the link on this slide. Here's a short overview on the 2011 program from the Geostat. So on the first day, there's an introduction and course overview, software installation with the students and PhD students, and also some researchers that participate. So there's an uh, introduction to the main software like Saga GIS, Cross GIS, R, and the uh, and packages. And on the day two to five, you have parallel blocks. So when you if you see more, if you look in detail on the different days, you will see that one time slot, one session was devoted to different spatial analyzes with R, and the second session dealt with Zaga GIS introduction and introduction to Cross GIS and other tools such as Post GIS. But also of course there were links between R and GIS tools uh, in these individual blocks. It was not a definite, a definite border between them because you can integrate them relatively nicely. <coughs> 